Hello, I'm Ehsan. In this video, I want to show how to work with Rotary Encoder uh, as an input device. Okay, go to Rotary Encoder datasheet. You can see the figure in here. Uh, I use this Rotary Encoder in my project, K by 040. Uh, I highlight some point in datasheet and I uh, want to show uh, which important point in this data sheet go through the data sheet and I explain uh, what was in it we use it uh, this device uh, rotary encoder as input device uh, with a knob and two indication rotate and what direction uh, this device is rotate and uh, the rotate has direction for example clockwise or counterclockwise okay go the, to the next part uh, this is the figure you can see we, uh, we have three pin a b and c uh, we have two switch in there uh, in ky 014 one switch are uh, connected pin A to C and the other switch connects pin B to C. Okay, the next, 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 next. In this here, I said we have two switch, one connected to A to C and the other is connected to B or C. Uh, we have uh, two uh, options in here. If both switches are closed, turning the encounter either clockwise or counterclockwise, one position will cause both switches to open. If both switches are open, turning the encounter either clockwise or counterclockwise, one position will cause both switches to close. Uh, two, uh, two things you can see. Uh, in there, uh, it means uh, when both switches are closed uh, and when uh, we turn the knob, both switches are open. And uh, if both switches are open, we turn the knob, the switches are closed. Okay, the illustration below representative of how the switches construct. It's not important. Yeah, two point in his ear rotating the switch clockwise will cause this switch connecting A to C to change state first. Rotating the switch counterclockwise will cause the switch connecting B and, and C to change state first. The summary of two point you can see. Uh, the figuring that uh, if A first change uh, V a clockwise rotation have clockwise ro rotation and if uh, B first change state we have counterclockwise rotation uh, we have somewhere in here if A change state first the switch is rotating in clockwise direction if B change state first the switch is rotating in counterclockwise direction this is the summary of that figure and two line in here the next part you can see the name of the pin uh, CLK is uh, related to clockwise. Uh, it's uh, famous for pin A. BT is for direction. Uh, it's famous for pin B. And it's W for switch. Is no push button switch. And the positive in here uh, connected to uh, 5 volts power supply. And GND is connected to pin C. Uh, if you want to how learn these pins, uh, it's better you study in here, uh, three paragraph in here. The next part is about configure inside configuration. This rotary encoder, uh, you can see what connect we have pin. For example, pin A connected to uh, CLK. 
and then connected to positive uh, this is the inside figure of this and the next is evolution circuit this is a really uh, important before you uh, write code in of your program uh, I use two LED with two resistor uh, 200 ohm and uh, you can connect this wire to this module and you can see uh, at first for example when the direction of the knob is clockwise at first is CLK LED is on and then DT is on after that both of them is off this is really really important to understand how this module work uh, and the other one is you can see the Arduino uh, evolution board you can see connection and uh -huh. uh, this code is really useful and I use this code uh, for in my project but I change uh, because my uh, main board is STM and this is for Arduino code, but I changed this code, and this code is really useful. Uh, and I show that how it work in Kale program and in STM32. Okay, let's go to uh, compile this code and use it on STM32. Mm. This is my project. This is STM32 Cube Mix. In figure, you can see. Please wait a second. Okay. Uh, you can see PC9 and PC8 uh, set as input. Uh, PC8 connected to CLK, PC9 connected to DT direction. And this two pin for system and debugging, you can go there, go to system and change this serial wire when we have, when we want to program a board, uh, you must change this option to serial wire. <clears throat> this is the figure you can see, it's really simple, the project, two pins has input and the other pins is for system and for debugging and then go to K to explain the code in the Kale okay uh, mm, uh, -huh. uh we uh, you can see encoder pause count aval and pin list this is the variable I uh, define uh, in global in line 45, 46, and 47. And the last part of that is uh -huh. uh, you can uh, add first of the program, uh, you must read pin uh, for the CLK. Uh, this program, I write the code. Uh, as I said in user manual you can see uh, if a change state first the switch is rotating in a clockwise direction uh, I used to this point for write my code and the pin a to connect it to CLK uh, in, in, right in my code at first is change uh, go through the code at first you must read pin PC8 PC8 connected to CLK and uh, and save it in pin a last this, uh, this is really important to main after that go to while and uh, <clears throat> at the other one uh, you can see the PC8 and saving to 
variable ava. After that, if ava is not equal pin la, pin a last, which means means the knob is rotating. If the knob is rotating, we need to determine direction. What we do that by reading pin b. Okay, in my code, as I said, at first change pin a or seal car and I read it. I read this pin and save to uh, aval if uh, this is a condition. If aval is not uh, equal to pin a last, which means the knob is rotating. What direction? In the clockwise or counterclockwise? It related to pin B or DT direction. If uh, PC9, PC9, as I say, it's connected to uh, pin B, is not equal to ABBA, means pin A change first. Okay, we, we know it. We are rotating clockwise and then end counter pause count plus plus. Is, a, is this a, value, a variable? I call it. Else, otherwise, B change first. It means moving counterclockwise and end counter pause count is minus minus. At the uh, end of the code, it's really important. You uh, save the amount of aval to pin A last. This is really important. Don't forget it. Just do it. You can see my code at first. Again, I define three variable in global. After that, I read pin C8 and save it to pin A last. In while, I read C pin C8. Uh, these two things, it means uh, we read this pin. After that, again read this pin because we want to know uh, how it changes. Okay, and the next part, uh, we have a condition with if. You can see means the knob is rotating. What direction? It's related to pin B. Uh, uh, pin B is connected to PC9. You can see that. Okay. And the uh, encounter plus plus and the other is encounter minus minus. Okay, I compile this code. You can see zero error and zero warming and debugging. Uh, I want to show what it work on my board. Well, I compile this code on my board and you can see how I write this. So this is my circuit and uh, you can see this is my circuit uh, this black wire is connected to GND you can see that this uh, green wire uh, red wire is connected to uh, power supply 3.3 volt and uh, white wire connected to PC 9 and the last one is the orange wire connected to PC Eight. Uh, the white wire is uh, related to what is that? DT direction, and the other is uh, connected to uh, CL car. Okay, when I you can see uh, my board and go to debug and. Uh, Add encounter post count to add watch because I want to uh, show you how it's changed. Go to add watch one. Okay. And right click in here and delete this hexadecimal display. And you can see that it changes here. After that, compile the program and you can see this is the change when I 
clockwise is increase and when I unclockwise you can see that we have decrease yeah you can see increase 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 and counterclockwise is decrease this is the project is related to KY04T encoder. Thanks for watching me. Please subscribe.